y'all welcome back to my channel as you could tell the title of this video is going to be closet decluttering and you guys <laughs> this is like real life this is what it looks like this is kind of good actually what it looks like because this closet as big as it you know as big as it is it can get really cluttered really fast especially when you don't um have a place for everything in your closet so when you don't have a specific place for things that can be you know anywhere in your home you tend to just put them anywhere so i found we have a junk drawer in our living room not our living room <laughs> we have a junk drawer in our kitchen and i found that once that junk drawer had a place for every specific item we put those things back in place so that junk drawer has not been unorganized since we you know first did it and that's been months ago that's probably been six months almost probably a year ago that we done it and it looks just like it did when we first put it together so that really tells you something about you know when you put something in its right place it's easier to always put it there because it has a place so today what we're going to do is i'm going to go through some clothes decided to let you watch i think this is really motivational as far as you know you getting in your own closet and getting some stuff situated maybe not in your closet maybe just in your house in general so i'm going to start doing this decluttering um like list of things i'm going to do our bathroom some other rooms um some things have been doing done in the kitchen so yeah i'm going to pretty much do like our entire house like decluttering um like a series so i wanted to take you along with us so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of some shoes i'm going to do probably a throwaway bag a donation bag and maybe even a sale bag so we got a lot of stuff as you can tell so let's get started all right so to get started we're just going to get everything off the floor <laughs> and there's a lot going on um this is just a tip for you if you have a lot of suitcases or bags the way that i like to store them is pretty much just fit everything inside of the biggest one so just now i'm just going to get everything off the floor like i said and just give it a good sweeping don't judge me for all the dust okay don't judge Trash bags are your absolute best friend when it comes to decluttering or organizing any space. This part can definitely be hard for certain people. It was hard for me. Um, I like to hold on to certain things because sometimes I just feel like I could wear them again. But I know that if I haven't worn them in a year, I'm probably not going to wear them. If you don't completely jam out when you are cleaning or organizing your room, then we just can't be best friends. So here's my rule for clothing. If I haven't worn it in a year, I'm probably not gonna wear it in this upcoming year. So it's time to get rid of it. I make sure that if things are in great condition and I think someone would buy them, I put it in that stack. And if not, I try to throw things away that I know nobody's gonna want. A lot of my jeans and bottoms were like two to three items per rack and that could look really cluttered. So you definitely wanna have one thing per clothing rack. I am so proud of myself for getting rid of all these clothes. Another great tip is to use the same hangers, meaning the same color, same style. Your closet will look so much more organized. So I used to store all of my scarves in one of my drawers. Wow all the dust this is why I don't sweep that often anyway so I bought one of these scarf hangers at Dollar Tree for a dollar had no idea I had this many scarves oh yeah when you find these accessories you just you just got to get down you just got to try them out make sure you still like them just as much so I made sure all of those fit I definitely need another scarf hanger so I'm gonna have to go out and get another one of those Now I'm just going to be going through my camisole and tank top drawer. As you see, I like to roll them. I think that you can see them a lot better and it makes it easier storage. You can definitely get a lot more in your drawer.
This folding technique is my absolute favorite. I use it in every drawer that we have in both our bedroom and our closet because you don't have to flip through every single item to find just the one. You can see it right there on top. So this is very convenient and very easy to manage. If you haven't noticed already with my side of the closet, I like things to be color coordinated. All of my shoes aren't color coordinated, but for the most part, I like to keep all of the blacks and the browns together. Also another tip for you when storing your shoes, I have to turn mine opposite ways. It just makes it a lot more spacious and you can get more pairs of shoes next to each other when doing this. You can find one of these bins just about anywhere. I use it to store all of our hats right here. I'm just getting rid of some that I haven't worn in years. Now it's time to go through my husband's half of the closet. He has so many clothes that he just does not wear. So pretty much whatever he hasn't worn, like I said in the past year, is getting rid of. Now it's time to move all of these things back in. I'm definitely going to utilize this space above the clothes just to store some bags that we hardly ever use but we definitely don't want to get rid of. guys that is it for my organizing and decluttering walk-in closet video i really hope you enjoyed it definitely let me know what room you would like to see next we have the bathroom and also the kitchen so definitely comment down below make sure to give this video a like and if you haven't subscribed yet please do i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of august and i know that we can do this together so i hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day and as always thanks for watching